All right, welcome back. Basement Tapes, episode number 71, 1957 is where we are right now. We're looking through my collection here in 1957, and uh, what we see here is uh, a set. I have 71 out of the 88 cards, and this, of course, is the 1957 Topps Space Cards. So uh, the 57 space cards, uh, boy, this is a set that I have many regrets over because of and for, but uh, it is one of those sets that kind of haunts me and I could easily make up for my mistakes, but it will cost me money. Money, you say? Yes. So uh, let me get into this, uh, the telling of this whole um 1957 top space cards and how I feel about that as well. First, before we get into my own personal uh, mental anguish over this set, uh, it is a set of 88 cards, $12 a pop average value, hundred or $1,056 total. They say a, a set of these will cost you between two fifty and $600. I found that that's probably much more. Uh, 88 cards, again, all equal value, uh, perceived to be of equal value. And um, before we go over to TCDB, you know, we're talking about a, a decade where uh, we fell, really fell in love with cars. We fell in love with TV and movie stars and rock stars and uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Our imagination's running wild with airplane travel and um Stuff like that on top of uh, baseball, uh, football starting to come out here with a lot of football cards. So uh, baseball card companies, or in this case, one company tops is really spreading, um, spreading their seed wide and just kind of seeing what grows. Now, uh, 57, think about what's going on with the space race with uh, the Soviet Union and the imaginations of boys and girls in classroom, there's science involved, there is excitement and um, obviously travel, but there is adventurism and stuff like that. So Tops has his 57 top space card. We're kind of freaked out about what's on the other side of the clouds uh, from uh, stuff like War of the Worlds and, and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of imaginations running wild and Tops is trying to capture that. Uh, all in a five cent or a one cent pack. And uh, let me switch over to TCDB. Really uh, a fun set, especially when you consider the context and the, and the day and age of which it was released. Uh, the sky was literally the limit. And um, boy, uh, imaginations ran wild. And uh, we're kind of going to go through here. Not a lot of stuff is written about this either on Beckett or TCDB. But uh, I'll look at the packaging real quick here. Beautiful boxes. Uh, we have yellows and reds and blues and stuff like that. So uh, five cent um, bubble gum card uh, package or wax pack, I guess. Um, a butte, a real butte. They did a great job with that. And then there's the one cent packs as well further around there. Uh, so anyway, uh, these were uh, imagine your shelves back then and littered. And I say that in a good way with baseball cards, football cards, space cards, uh, TV stars, um, swimming pools, movie stars, all that stuff. Lots of options to uh, get your money from you. I wonder if this was strictly like an off-season thing uh, or what. But anyway, uh, these cards are uh, real, uh, real fun to look at. So Sputnik 1 is the first card. And we kind of see the beginning there's a dog there in uh sputnik 2 we see the kind of the beginning of the space race and stuff like that obviously the russians are leading let's talk about uh the dog in sputnik 2 card number two the world's first space travel hero was a small small dog known as leika inside a compartment in the larger sputnik 2 leika circled the earth once every 106 minutes while scientists recorded her breathing heartbeat and blood pressure the world gained valuable information that paved the way for man's first blast off into space. Sputnik 2's orbit varied from 100 to 1,056 miles high in space. And of course, it's uh, directing us to the next card. It says C card number three, launching U.S. satellite space cards, TCG printed in USA. Uh, so we are in the space race. Uh, we lost uh, the uh, space race in the beginning, but eventually caught up. But there's 
Sputnik burning up, descending. There's the three-stage rocket. There's Target Moon, a robot nears Moon. So we're sending up robots and dogs and monkeys and crescent wrenches and all sorts of stuff. Uh, the perceived moon landing, which obviously wouldn't happen for another dozen years or so, um, but this is all stuff that tops tops artists are uh, kind of putting down to pen and cardboard and uh, looking at what the future is. Lunar Scouting Patrol, Conquest of the Moon, card number 36, the United Nations flag being planted. It says, as the sun rises early on the third morning since landing on the moon, the flag raising ceremony begins. Although the members of the crew come from different countries, hero on the moon. Don't know what that means. They have the common bond of being earthmen as they stand at attention in their spacesuits. The world flag is hoisted and the moon is claimed for all people on earth. So this is our moon folks. Uh, and, uh, thank you to those, uh, brave, men and i assume there were none what no women because it was the 50s but thank you to you folks for conquering the moon for us but there's trouble because there's a meteor shower on the moon there's craters involved up there uh there is moon huts there is moon surveying squad moon mountain climbing photographing moon craters collecting minerals on the moon lunar mists lunar explosions uh back earth on earth we have the palomar observatory just thrown in there for um i guess just comic relief and then uh enjoying earth shine car number 50 has two that's a male and it appears to be a female sitting on a bench holding hands staring into each other's eyes through their space bubble helmets as the earth uh shines in the background uh we get a little darker here uh literally eclipse of the earth and then we're working in space with an eye beam and a bunch of uh what looks like uh drywall i'm not sure what we're building in space but space supply depot assembling supply ships all sorts of stuff happening in space generators uh and there is a spanner wrench there as uh working on the solar generators lunar air plant so we're growing air on the on the uh on the on the moon there there's a city there's gymnastics on the moon there's a lookout post i'm not sure who we're looking out for uh farming on the moon moon trains Space Message Center Lunar Spaceport. And then we start chasing comets. And then we're heading home. And then we're returning to Earth. But then there's the Outer Space Station later on. And take off four other planets. And refueling the planet ship. And then we get to Venus where there's a dust storm. And we get to Mars. And uh, we're looking at the Martian landscape, which looks like somebody just tipped over a truck of Mountain Dew. And uh, Martian dust storm, outpost on Mars. A visit to Mercury, because we all want to go to Mercury. Well, truth be told, I feel like I'm on Mercury right now. It's like a billion degrees right now where I am. And even Lance Armstrong would say he's sweating his balls off. It is so hot here. I would not want to go to Mercury. Uh, there's a card of Mercury people having a good time on the dark side of Mercury while they cook scrambled eggs on the sunny side of uh, Mercury, where it is, let's see here, an eternal negative 450 degrees cold <laughs> so uh yet yet you could stick your frying pan out with your glove and uh it will heat your fried egg and it will heat your egg in seconds so uh it also says the pan would melt also so we do have some knowledge because they probably went to college but still uh it's tough we're studying the sun's surface from up close it says here since mercury is three times closer to the sun than earth observatories here could study the sun closely the sun would look like an enormous inferno sending out 11,000 degree heat. At its center, the temperature is a fantastic 35 million degrees. And every second, 4 million tons of the sun's matter is poured into space. It is 88, 86,000, Miles in diameter, larger than 109 Earths put together. And then card 79 has the melting in the sun's heat. And then we uh, move on to Jupiter and Saturn and places like that. So card 88 has us uh, pondering life on other planets. Since man first saw the stars, he has wondered about life on other planets. The one that's most probably would have life is Mars. The one that most probably would have life is Mars. But if there is life there, 
we do not know what form it takes. Certainly it will be unusual since there is no oxygen to sustain life as we know it. Man is developing space travel and soon we may have the answer that has puzzled mankind for centuries. So we are getting ready to meet some Martians and uh, that probably uh, will not end well. Uh, I know humans, I, uh, I walk the earth with humans and uh, I've seen some crazy crazy stuff just in uh, san francisco the other day at tsa i saw some crazy stuff involving humans so uh the trust factor is not there uh let alone uh other people uh the aliens uh, pray for the aliens if you must so problem with these cards is if i go to let me unshare for a second uh problem if problem with these cards <clears throat> the 1957 tops space cards is simple okay in 1958 they also released a set called uh tops target moon okay and uh the problem with that is they're the exact same cards except for the backs have target moon instead of space cards written on them and i have 47 of those okay and uh before you congratulate me on that let me see if there's any, any write-ups on this on Beckett. No, nope, Beckett doesn't say anything about it. Let me see if TCDB says anything about it, or I'll spill the news myself. So, uh, no, nope, nobody's having anything to say about this. So the problem with this is I had, at one point, two complete sets, one of the 57 space cards and one of the 58 target moon cards. Not knowing that their backs were slightly different, I ended up, uh, essentially selling uh, a lot of the cards that made up each one of these sets because I thought I had two sets. It turns out I had one set of each. So anyway, uh, still regretting that. Mo most of the Target Moon cards went away. I think I said I had 47 out of the 88. Um, space cards, I have 71 out of the 88. So I've tried to price these things out at card shows, and they are um, they're it's it's at least a ten dollar bill to start making up uh, some of the ground here that I screwed up. So I went from having a complete set of each, thinking that I had two sets of the space cards, and ended up selling uh, what essentially was uh, singles and not duplicates. So uh, bummer for me. Maybe maybe uh, they make their way back to me somehow in other collections, but uh, it is, I know it sounds very dramatic, but it is, uh, for me, it's a bit of an issue trying to complete these sets. Makes me cringe, as the kids would say, and uh, hopefully uh, maybe I fix that uh, someday. So anyway, that's the 1957 Topps Space Cards, along with the 1958 Topps Target Moon, which, again, I'll show you folks the back of uh, the Target Moon cards just so uh, you kind of understand my dilemma here. Uh, let's see here. Sputnik 1. Uh, here's the funny part is the Target Moon cards. Target Moon cards have space cards. So uh, let me share this real quick. <clears throat> Bam, if you're watching, this is scintillating. If you're not watching, it's boring as crap. So again, space cards written on the bottom of Sputnik. I'm not sure. There we go. Sputnik 2, which is card number 2, says Target Moon. So if you're looking there, you'll see Target Moon on the back. If you're looking at um, the other ones, it says Space Cards. So that's the only difference on the back. And uh, boy, what a faux pas. But that's all part of the joys of this hobby. Uh, and I use this as a shining example of that. You do some stupid things in the beginning, maybe, but uh, the more you learn and the more knowledge you gain, um, the more interesting it is. So uh, I regret, of course, but uh, of course, I learned a lot in the process here. So that's it. That's episode 71 of the Basement Tapes. 56 tops, or I'm sorry, 57 tops uh, space cards and the 58 tops target moon with a slight variation on the back that separates them. Thanks.